in this video, we'll be taking up the even and odd functions homework. Um, so for the first question, it's degree three, it's cubic, so I already know it's not even. And I checked, I know it's odd by the way, because of the symmetry in the zeros. Um, do the math, f of negative x equals negative f of x. Beautiful, point symmetry about the origin. Uh, B, I know that one's neither because I see a, I see ter it's in standard form and I see terms with odd exponents and even exponents. So yeah, it's it's definitely neither. So I find f of negative x and then I, I, I see that it's not even because f of negative x doesn't equal f of x. Then I have negative, I find what negative f of x is and it's not equal to f of negative x. So I say it's neither. Okay, uh, C, I can tell you that is an even function based on the symmetry of the zeros. So just be careful when you factor out negative one and the factor is cubed, you still have a negative one because negative one cubed is negative one. But if I square a negative one, it becomes positive one. So anyways, just watch your uh, algebra here. You can take a look at my steps, but uh, f of x is even. For D, I can tell you right off the bat, it's neither because there's no symmetry in the zeros and it's a degree of six. Um, but once I saw no symmetry in the zeros, I, I knew it's neither right off the bat. Question two and three is pretty straightforward. Um, even functions have line symmetry about y-axis and odd functions have point symmetry about the origin. Uh, do even and odd functions have to be polynomial functions? This is just um, a very important point I wanted to make because I really don't want students to come away, come out of the lesson thinking that polynomial functions um, or even functions and odd functions have to be polynomials. There are many, many functions which are that have nothing to do with polynomials and, um, and they are even and they are odd. So I gave them examples, cos x is even, sin x is odd, one over x is odd. So these are all functions you work with in grade 11 and these are not polynomials, okay? Um, yeah, so um, cosine has line symmetry about the y-axis, sin x has uh, point symmetry about the origin and one over x has point symmetry about the origin. It's just a small detail that I really don't want you guys to be confused over because uh, a lot of students have that misconception.